Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. All right, I'm just going to spray him, dude. Watch out. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to spray you. Get out. Get out or you're getting sprayed. Get out or you're getting sprayed. Get out for Reach around. You take off in this car, I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to make it super easy on you. You put this car in drive, you're getting one white to the chest. I don't care what you got. I don't care if you got on you. But guess what, bro? Now you got to deal with it. But if you pull some you're going to take one to the chest. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you don't listen, you're done. You understand me? Gardena or Wanda, Wanda Arena, Dr. Six. You going to comply or no? Comply with. If you move your hands from right there, you're in trouble. So you're going to shoot me? I'm sitting in the damn car, bro. 14809 Crenshaw. Weed shop parking lot. I'm sitting in the damn car. Move your hands from right there, and you're done. Sorry, my name rest of what, bro? You got guns you are, you are most definitely 1,050% detained. And if you, do, if you do anything other than what you're doing right now, then you're going to have some major consequences to deal with. For what? I'm going to make it super simple for you. For what? It's already been explained to you. For what? Already been explained to you. Right. You going to step out of the car now or no? Am I under arrest? You're detained and you're going to step out of the vehicle. For what? Right now, if you, ref if you refuse to comply to our commands and our lawful orders as policemen, you're going to be placed under arrest and you will go to jail and I will tow this car. You going to comply or no? Because right now you already resisted my partner by, by ripping your hand away. Your partner came and opened my damn door by himself. Okay, itself. step out and comply to him. Your partner sure. came and opened my damn door. Oh, you know, he's going to be tight. You want probation or parole or what? Nope. All right. Nope. Got it. Thank you. We don't need it. I know, but I don't need the consent. Thank you. Hey, uh, you need to come into the uh, weed shop. You can slow your roll. We're good. Thank you. Is your ID on you or no? Or is it in your car? Where is it? No. I know you said it 50 times. Yeah, I get it. Fortunately for you, you shouldn't smoke so much weed in your car, and then we wouldn't have to search. I didn't it. smoke no weed in my car. I have weed in my car. I didn't smoke no weed in my car. It's not weed. Do you have like anger issues or what? All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 66, and it says, And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and, sh and shalt have no assurance of thy life. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring, enduring the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your call election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husbands. Shalom, Shalom. Okay, again, it's the brother Zachariah. Come back to you with another lesson. All right. And I see that if you see the video clip I put in the beginning, all right, of the Jake uh, being uh, arrested by those police officers, but they had the guns drawn on him. You know, he uh, seems like he wasn't really uh, suspected of no crime or nothing. He was just being apprehended, but they had the guns drawn all on him and and was starting to kill the man. All right. Which uh, Jake goes through this man on a daily basis here in Babylon the Great, you know. So uh, I wanted to uh, pull up the article, all right? And it says, rapper files $10 million claim after video shows LA County deputy threatened to shoot him, okay? As you see in the video clip, all right? Uh, see, Pasadena, California, all right? It says, lawyers for a Los Angeles-based rapper filed a $10 million claim against Los Angeles County Wednesday, alleging sheriff's deputies threatened to shoot and kill him as he sat alone in his car on new year's eve okay and this was see this was uh about a uh, this was a year ago because we're coming upon upon uh, new year's uh now for 2024 all right which uh what inspired me to do this lesson was a uh, uh uh instagram page on um you know uh had posted this video clip you know i think it was called uh hebrew digest or something like that to that degree all right so i seen it and you know like i said you know these even if this is an old uh, event, you know, it might be new to some of us, but also it can be a learning experience. You know, everything, you know, doesn't just happen just to be happening. You know, everything happens for a reason. But we but the beautiful thing about the scriptures is we can filter everything around us through this holy scriptures. All right. The men of the Lord. All right. So it says Feezy LeBron, OK, which I've never heard of this guy. <laughs> you know, a lot of these new rappers. I don't know these guys like that, man. But it says Feezy LeBron 
and his uh, attorneys held a news conference in Pasadena Wednesday arguing that the entertainer posed no threat to law enforcement, which clearly he had his hands up. He had no weapon or nothing on him. But they were talking about smelling weed and all this other stuff. And I'm like, that shouldn't be a reason to draw a gun. But that's how they are with us, man. Okay? Yet they still threaten him. All right? The rapper claims a possible forerunner to a lawsuit. States that, that at about 6 p.m. on December 31st, he was in his car in a Gardena parking lot. And I've been out there in Gardena. Uh, I got uh, one of my... Because uh, I was raised in Puerto Rico, you know, for y'all that don't know. So one of my Ephraimite... Um, brothers man uh he lives out there you know he was in the service and when he got out he lives out there and he's actually a plastic surgeon you know so i went out there with him and his family just to stay because you know i was, I was pursuing the music which he's he actually does music too but you know of course you know with the music you know if you don't sell your soul you ain't gonna make it and we ain't we ain't about that you know what i'm saying even before the truth we that wasn't the spirit that was on us but uh he was uh you know uh I had went out there, you know, uh, so that I can pursue the music, okay? And this was a, a, around the time that I actually was waking up to knowing I was an Israelite, you know, but I didn't, I wasn't, I still, you know, I was a baby, a newborn baby. It's like I basically just came out the womb, you know, with it. So I was still learning a lot of things, you know, like, because I was still celebrating uh, pagan holidays, eating abominable foods. I didn't know that stuff was going off. But like I said, I seen videos like, you know, uh, Yahweh Bashim Hashem led me to see certain videos and it was just it was resonating with my spirit But like I said, you know, it steps with it. You don't just wake up and everything you download everything in your mind Like right there at that complete second, you know what I'm saying? That's why brothers do lessons to bring things edify you, you know, because you might not know something's going off You might have Israelites today still smoking weed not knowing that it's bad for it You know, you shouldn't be doing that. So that's why we have to do lessons and bring out uh you know, uh, articles and, and video clips and, and things uh, showing you uh, that it's not good for you. But that's another lesson there. All right. But, uh, you know, uh, let's see. He was in in his car in a Gardena parking lot waiting to meet a friend, listening to music and live streaming to his fans on Instagram when deputies drove up and shined flashlights at his car. And, and hey, Gardena, hey, it's no joke. It's it's a bad area, so I think you know I ain't justifying them cops, but I think you know with them being the way they are, hey, it be murders and everything. My homie, you know, told me that like right there the store not far from where he lived, he said, man, uh, there was a a, a murder, it had just taken place, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. All right, a body camera footage uh, captured the encounter. One deputy opened the driver's side door, grabbed LeBron by the arm, and tried to pull him out. The claims uh, states moments later, a second deputy walked up, pulled out a canister of pepper spray and said he was going to spray the rapper. As you seen the video clip, uh, the claim states the same deputy took out his gun, pointed it at LeBron's chest and repeatedly threatened to shoot him as the rapper sat with his hands raised, according to the claim, as the videos uh, showed. OK, how you doing, man? Says the deputy allegedly told LeBron, move your hands from right there and you're done. The claim states the deputy also said in the body cam footage you take off in this car i'm going to shoot you and, and you put this car in drive you're going to get one right in the chest when lebron asked the deputy if he was going to shoot him the deputy allegedly said absolutely according to the claim <laughs> that's crazy man that'd be the spirit man on on, on esau eat him, man all right says lebron was later taken out of his car handcuffed and detained uh and detained him for about 30 minutes while deputies searched his vehicle, then subsequently released him with a citation for a missing front license plate, the claim states. That's crazy, man. So that was that was all. They didn't find anything on that guy, okay? But he kept on kept saying, like, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? And, and you know, and, and, and one of the things you got to understand uh as being a, a so-called black man, okay, because we are Israelites, we're not black, all right, but, you know, we know that our people don't know that, they don't know it, so, you know, you being a black man, so-called black man, you know, here in Babylon the Great, this place is not your rest, man, all right, the scriptures tell you how to deal with these heathen, man, this is uh, Matthew 5 and 25, and it says, agree with thy adversary quickly, okay, quickly, if he tells you to get out the car, just get out, 
Don't be all that old, oh, I know my rights and stuff, man. You, I'm going to tell you, we don't have no rights, man. When they talk about all uh, justice for all and all that, they're not talking about us because they don't see us as human. All right. They don't see us as that. All right. They're not talking about us. They, they all pretend and act like it does whenever you start to bring things to their attention. But ultimately, it doesn't apply to you. That's why they that's why they act the way they act around you, because they don't because it don't apply to you. They don't see you. You're not an American. All right. You know, you're you're a, you're a property to them. They treat you like as if you're a cattle. All right. But again, agree with that adversary quickly. While thou art in the way with him, okay? Lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge and the judge deliver thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison, you see? So, and, and these things could happen with a quickness, you know? And they be, and they, they, uh, they fingers are trigger happy, man. They, they, they be ready to pull that trigger, man. You gotta be careful with these people, all right? So I wanted to pull this up here real quick, you know, uh, like I said, I never really heard of this guy. So, you know, I always try to search it up a little bit. All right. And maybe you haven't heard of him either because I don't really listen to too much hip hop like that. You know, I like the old some of the old school stuff. Uh, but uh, mainly I like like uh, I like some dance hall, um, Afro beats, things like that. Uh, and it also depends on the message. You know, a lot of times I'm a, I was a music artist, man, for 20, almost 20 years. So. You know, and uh, you know, into the beat making and all that kind of stuff. So I listen for sounds. A lot of times I might like a song and I don't, I ain't paying attention to them lyrics. I, I like the the beat. You know, I'm listening to the beat or, or the quality of how it was recorded, the mix on it. You know, so you know, you have to have an ear for that. You know, those are for people. You know, that are you know, music lovers. All right, but this guy Feezy, I guess you know Feezy LeBron or whatever. And it says, uh, let's see. I uh, don't say too much on here. It was just, you know, uh, it says genre. It says Nigerian R&B, Vietnamese hip hop. You know, I don't. I was trying to see if it might say anything like where he's from or something, but I don't know. I never really heard of this guy. But uh, no, oh, that's it. You know, I was trying to see if it had anything else. You know, but when you're in this thing, uh, oh wait a minute, hold on. It was something. I was. Uh, there was a reason I uh, had this pulled up. It shows his albums. He got one called Phenom Four Zero One Music. All right, just another day. Feezy World. Look, I guess he got an album called Drugs, and then Life of a Skinny Thug. Okay. One of the things you're not supposed to be a thug. And actually, I believe uh, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong, but the word thug goes back to like a, a deity, a demon. All right. So calling yourself a thug. All right. And this is what they always uh, portray our people. They call our people thugs, all right? So they really calling you, these Edomites are calling you demons, all right? But drugs, you're supposed to be sober, okay? And see, and they was trying to suspect him of having uh, his car smelling like weed or something, okay? But, you know, a lot of our people, man, we sell out, we make this music, and, it's, and sometimes, hey, so a lot of these artists don't even really do drugs. They just make the music to pollute the minds of our people, Okay, and ultimately them guys could have been sent from your how about shimmy was shy. Okay, you know, they be spirits created for vengeance, man, and things like that. But uh, you know, they sell out, man, and make covenants with these heathen. All right, this is Matthew 16 and 26. It says, For what is it for what is a man profited uh if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? All right. You know, a lot of our people have been a sellout for these riches and fame and want to be these big time celebrities. But a lot of times, Yahweh Bashim al we use these Edomites, which are the, his sword, by the way. They're used as, as a reminder to show you, you know, no matter your status and how much money you got, you know, uh, you know, you this is not your rest. And, and, and you're still in the land of your captivity. You know, even Oprah with her billions and, and as, as wicked as she is and sold out to eat with Esau Edom, she went to a store uh over there in um i want to say italy or something like that she was over in europe somewhere but she was uh you know of course she could have bought the whole store but she went in there and saw some bag she wanted and i don't think the woman realized who she was but she just seen a black woman and she went in there and and she was wanting to see a bag and the woman wouldn't show it to her said you can't afford this bag 
And I'm thinking, you know, and Oprah looking at her like, it's got to be a joke, you know? Because uh, Oprah's obviously a billionaire. And she would not sell her that bag, man. She wouldn't show it to her. And then they made an apology or something, but that's, you know, that you got to understand, man, this is not your rest, man. This is not your rest. All right? I also got this scripture here pulled up real quick because I want to show you something else. All right? This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It says, the thing that have been it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. Okay, and there is no new thing under the sun. You see that? No new thing under the sun. Okay, with these police officers. This is why the scriptures tell you agree with our adversary quickly. Okay, you know, when our people were in, in that, that bondage, that captivity, which was still in captivity, but in the hardcore bondage, and you was a runaway slave, they had a thing called runaway slave patrol. Look at the badge. Now look at this one right here. And this is through the spirit because that what happened to him was out there in around Los Angeles. Look at this. Deputy Sheriff, Los Angeles County, and look at the badge, identical, same thing, nothing new under the sun, man, okay, look at this, it says you can't ignore your, hit. you can't ignore your history, always remember who they uh, are, yeah, always remember, okay, these people don't hate you, uh, I mean, these people hate you, man, okay, and especially out there in LA, a lot of your police officers are, 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 they're, uh, are part of uh, gangs, they're actually they're a gang they're a part of certain gangs and stuff and this is real this is real talk this there was real research they did a documentary on it a lot of your police officers out there they're in gangs man okay and this, like i was saying here uh earlier this is not your rest this is micah 2 and 10 it says arise ye in the part for this is not your rest because it is polluted see this land is polluted with our the blood of our people when these slave patrol uh went out there and they went after our people you know what they did, man? A lot of times uh, they was killing. They killed Jake. They sick them dogs on Jake. They show you that in those movies. How to, uh, they'll let the dogs uh, tear Jake up. You know what I'm saying? You know, they'll they'll kill Jake, or and, or sometimes they'll capture him, take him back, and then kill him. You know, they would do things like that, man. But uh, the blood of our ancestors, man, is all throughout this soil, man. Okay, this place is not your rest, man. All right, again, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. And, and it says, it shall destroy you, okay? And it could have easily destroyed that Feezy LeBron guy, man. That guy was ready to put, put a bullet in his chest, man. And he asked me, will you, are you going, uh, will you shoot me or something? He said, absolutely. <laughs> he was letting you know that dude was ready. And it was, on his, it was in his spirit to do that, man. It says, even with a sword destruction, okay? That's why it's quick, man. You be you um, you know, agree with that adversary quickly, man. Okay. I always I bring this scripture out a lot, a lot, especially with a lot of these articles and things that come up with our people getting gunned down by Esau Edom, whether it's his police officers or just a crazy Edomite out here that's trigger happy, man, ready to do something to a um, a Jake, man. I bring this out a whole lot because you know, going back to the book of Genesis, Esau's blessing was the sword. Okay. That was the blessing given to him. And, he, and, and what that devil said, he said, uh, he said, uh, when my father, you know, my father's, uh, you know, the days of, of, of mourning for my father are near, you know, and after that, he's going to slay his brother Jacob. Okay. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay. But this is Psalm 17 and verse 13. It says, arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. Okay. The wicked is Esau Edom going to Job 9, 24. All right. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay, Yaha, they are the sword of Yahweh Shemayashai. You know, going to De De Deuteronomy, Salakia, so like, uh, Deuteronomy, uh, Yahweh said that he will send a nation from afar against you. Okay, as swift as the eagle flyeth. Just look at the national symbol of America. What is it? The eagle, man. And then a lot of these other European nations, they all had the eagle. You know, even so-called Nazi Germany, it had the eagle on there. You know, going back to Esau's uh, home, original land, uh, Eat, which is uh, Edom, you know, it had uh, an eagle. Okay, so it was no, it's no coincidence that he mentions as swift as the eagle flyeth. Okay, these are clues, man, to let you know who this, who this uh, enemy is, who this nation is, this wicked. Okay, again, arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is, which is thy sword. 
Okay? They are the sword of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? But see, being mindful and understanding the times and understanding that you need to agree with our adversary quickly, understanding that this is not your rest, understanding who your enemies are and being careful, you know what I'm saying, with them, okay? Being wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove out here. When you're being mindful of all these things, you know, uh, you understand that a judgment is going to come on them, okay? How about Shemar Shane forgot what Esau Edom did and what he is doing, okay? All of his sins are being gathered up and they're going up into the heavens, okay? Everything being recorded. So this devil's going to have to uh, answer for that. This is Amos 1 and 11, and I'll end it on this. Like I said, it wasn't supposed to be a long lesson. Just something quick, straight to the point. But just to show you the how to conduct yourselves when you're dealing with these police officers. You know, don't get into a, a verbal argument and things with them. You know, even if they are in the wrong, okay? You agree quickly, man. So you get them on out your way. All right? This is Amos 1 and 11. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yeshua, for three transgressions of Edom. See? Edom. Okay? Alright, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity. You see, that's the spirit on him. And his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. So that same wrath is in them, okay? I did a, did a video here recently how this UFC fighter, he's bulking up, you know, he's stocking up on his ammo and everything, thinking that we're going to go back into like a war like 1776. <laughs> Alright? That's the spirit that's going to be on these, these Edomites. You know, they came over here with the sword. And when they uh, did what they did to my forefathers, man. You know. Okay. So, Lord willing, you found, found this lesson here edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one. Shalom.